The primary topic of this video is Trump's demand that the House Republicans shut down the government on October 1st. Unless Congress passes and Biden signs into law uh, a provision that makes voting harder just days before the November 2024 election. Before getting into that topic, I will just mention that the apparent assassination attempt yesterday on Trump is the latest example of far too many disturbed individuals owning assault rifles. There is no shortage of those people in the U.S. who are both crazy and on assault rifles capable of firing hundreds of rounds per minute. Mass shootings using those weapons will continue to occur in the U.S. forever. I wanted to also mention Trump's true social message that he hated, Taylor Swift. He put the message in all caps. Why would he broadcast that sentiment nationwide? Is he trying to energize the Swifties to vote for Harris? Would a sane politician make that statement a few weeks before the election? The answer is no. No sane politician would make that statement. I view that Trump message as just another indication that he is, in Sean Hannity's words, batshit crazy, and that he is extremely vindictive towards anyone who criticizes him no matter how justified that criticism may be and how factually based it may be, and or who does not praise him lavishly and effusively 24-7, uh, just about. Trump has repeated a claim that he read online that Harris's pearl earrings that she was wearing during the debate and had been wearing for weeks that apparently she purchased from uh, Tiffany's, were receiving information wirelessly that she simply repeated during the debate. I, have, I will reference an article uh, that debunks that conspiracy theory in the more section below. I view that uh, as relevant since it confirms where Trump gets his information from the likes of Laura Loomer and anonymous social media users that he repeats as true in his usual manner with emphasis and a very serious look on his face. Back to the topic of this video, Trump constantly attacks the democratic process and the legitimacy of election results, which he did even when he won in 2016. In an interview shortly after winning that election, Trump claimed that he won the popular vote in 2016, notwithstanding the certified results showing that he lost by 2,868,691. Because in Trump's words, millions of illegals voted for Hillary Clinton and that every last one of them voted for Clinton with Trump saying he did not get a single one of those votes. It is just off-the-charts crazy talk, which is normal for Trump and to be expected daily from him. I am citing in the more section below a transcript of that interview, uh, which confirms my summary of it. Trump is a shameless demagogue, and that's not going to change, who will repeatedly uh, make false claims, which is what a Democrat, demagogic political leader does. The purpose of many of Trump's statements is simply to undermine Americans' belief in the election process and election results. America has never seen a more powerful demagogue than Dem Donald Trump. A typical message setting the stage for Trump to reject the 2024 election results, no matter how large the, uh, the loss is, was broadcast him by worldwide, uh, was broadcast worldwide by him uh, last week. Trump claimed that the Democrats were going to stuff ballot boxes with votes cast by illegal aliens. 
And this post uh, was made in all caps by Trump. It reads, quote, The Democrats are trying to stuff voter registration with illegal aliens. Don't let it happen. Close it down. Three exclamation points. The reference to closing it down is that Congress uh, has to uh, extend the funding of the federal government within a few days from now, or the government will be required to shut down. So Trump is telling them to shut the government down unless the Democrats agree to making voting harder just before the election. Trump has no proof that illegal voting by non-citizens, which is already a felony, has had any impact on any election results. And he had none when he made the similar statements in the interview shortly after the 2016 election. By proof, I am talking about real evidence, admissible in a court, rather than create conspiracy theories created by anonymous Trump supporters in social media posts, and then Trump reads those uh, posts and repeats whatever is said in them is true without making any effort to verify their accuracy. Trump is aware uh, that Georgia's secretary, Republican Secretary of State claims to have identified 1,634, quote, potential non-citizens, end of quote, who attempted to register to vote over a 15-year period but they were caught and were never registered. The purpose of Trump making these kind of claims about illegal aliens voting is not to prevent illegal voting, but to suppress voting by citizens who do not vote the right way, which means they vote for the Democrats. This kind of claim is fundamentally uh, anti-democratic, of course, Trump is demanding that the House Republicans shut down the government unless the Democrats agree to a, a law that makes voting harder. The, law, the House Republicans may obey this order from their dear leader. It remains to be seen. They're running out of time to extend funding to even keep the government open. Does Trump have any evidence supporting his claim that would be admissible in court? No, but evidence is not necessary nor has it ever been necessary in Trump's America before making an incendiary and unproven accusation, which Trump does multiple times each day. That is what authoritarian-minded demagogues do. Prior to Trump uh, ascending to total control of what used to be the Republican Party, and there is no daylight now between Trump and the GOP, it would have been unthinkable that such an obvious demagogue, incapable of making factual statements about almost anything, and who deliberately sows, sows fear, paints a false view of America that only he can fix, which is both untrue and laughable, and routinely enhances and aggravates divisions in America solely for his own personal benefit and relishes doing so could become president, let alone nominated again and likely to come close to winning or winning again in 2024. Trump has proven beyond any doubt that lying and demagoguery works in U.S. politics and is a path to political power, notwithstanding the fact checks that prove the false narratives and statements and the easily available uh, availability of accurate information that rebuts, rebuts the false statements of the uh, demagogue.